Well, as I talk on for beginning, as we talk on for the beginning of the show, we talk, say, Valentine, it's coming. And where is your gift? Mm -mm -mm. That kind of thing. And uh, the whole idea is, say, we do need to even discuss about this love matter and uh, the things we share for there. And yes, we get another special guest who will join us on top of uh, this matter this morning. Monavaya Skype will go get this conversation. And we're going to discuss on the necessary. Is it uh, a next extreme? Next extreme. Next extreme. Yeah. Yes. The and you're not doing it right. Next. Guess you do your mouth when you talk. Oh yeah, next extreme. To show say <laughs> you know. Um, now next extreme. Next extreme. Next extreme. The mouth. <laughs> And also close the one when they talk on to show say come on phone and I need to say it's quite necessary. Mm. Yes, yeah, necessary. Oh, oh, necessary. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was just your face. Like <laughs> so we're gonna be talking very, very, very necessary this morning and about uh, the love things. We know say Valentine's Day very, very close. It's not too far away. Valentine's on Sunday I and a lot know. of things are coming through. Yes, I'm gonna talk to one better. Our doctor Tolu, she go join us here, Doctor Tolu Okoigeri, and a couple and therapy. Uh, sex therapist. Uh, she will give us all the necessary conversation on that one. Reviving intimacy between couples this Valentine season. Eh? Madam Tolu, you did, yeah? <laughs> I, I did. Uh -huh. hey. You know, sir, so I just talk this matter and I can hear my uncle <laughs> in the Lord saying, why do people always tie Valentine's Day to a day for lovers? It's a day about giving. It's a day about <laughs> caring for humanity. Dear uncle, we know this, but today uh, we won't focus on the lovers, especially those who are married. Not being. Yes. Um, so. May I not say those who are married, let me not be that. Nice. I mean, come on, the, couples the generally. Couples, yes. Couples, um, yeah. And by couple, we may say one man, one woman. Not be mm. like one man, six guests. Oh, uh, one girl, of seven people. Yeah, a couple of people. No, that's an understanding. Uh? That was a relationship. <laughs> Doctor, tell you good morning. Um, good of course, morning. so maybe we look this uh, matter to revive uh, intimacy between couples this Valentine's season. Uh, what I want first ask we say, why won't wait till Valentine's season to revive things? Why? Hmm. Um. So. Uh, I should keep PG, you know, Nick. Whichever one agree you, I know where we say fifth flow. All right. Yeah. Okay, so people are not supposed to wait till Val mm. before um, spreading love or, or spicing up the sex life. But it's still not a bad thing to okay. spread Valentine because um, a lot of people could be busy and there could be a lot of activities during Valentine so that they might want to be into. So to answer your question, you really do not have to wait to Val. At the same time, it's not a bad thing to celebrate during Val. Okay. Love making, sex life, romantic relationship should be constant. Mm. All right. Mm. So if you say it should be constant, we may say when Valentine's Day reach, we will just go the extra mile. Mm. You understand? Make we do, do what you say we never do before. Not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. I mean, you should be going extra mile, you know, maybe once in a month or once in two months, you know, you should have uh, a kind of specialized uh, concentration or specialized age for your relationship or for your marriage mm -hmm. once in a while. You should be deliberate about it, like, you know what, maybe once in a month we stay in an hotel, once in two months we'll travel to a resort. It doesn't have to be up country mm -hmm. but you should have a deliberate way of investing in your marriage investing in your relationship like you are conscious you are deliberate you make deliberate conscious effort so it really doesn't have to be during valentine mm. um maybe you are so busy with work and maybe most of the time what you do is just have sex so you want to really make love maybe once in a month mm. you should be able to like have, um have a particular time you know, that you will be able to do that. Mm. Oh. All right. All right. Uh, this thing where you talk, so it makes sense. Uh, make we jump into this other conversation about Valentine. People, they, they cause a problem for people. Uh, a lot of people, they talk, saying the ladies, they are always expecting a loan on Valentine's Day. They're not the one do. Now them, they say, ah, what is your boyfriend getting for you? What is your husband getting for you? Uh, sometimes, they know they, they, they forget, say themselves. They suppose they get something for their significant other as ladies where they be. Uh, but why you think, say, this kind of thing? This kind of thing can't be like, saying a culture for this part of the world. They, they, the ladies, the mm -hmm. most times, 
Not be say uh, most times most some of the ladies they just they expect say now the man duty to show this love and appreciation on Valentine's Day, not be our own full responsibility. What do you feel about this one? Okay, so uh, um, I would say in, in, in psychology, there's something that is called uh, childhood conditioning, like cognitive conditioning. Okay. So this thing you are talking about is not just about the women, okay. the men are also are. All right. You see, the women, it's more like for a man, if you do not provide for a woman, it's more like you start feeling like you are a lesser man. Mm. It's even in you yourself. So it's not even just about the women. So the men have, have even accepted the role, and the women too are playing along the role. So it's not just along with the role. So it's not just about the women or the men. It's both sexes. We are both accepted. So we have, we have been conditioned, you know, it, it's more, it, it might not necessarily your parent probably sat down and told you, you know what, this is the way you should react, you should pay mm -hmm. for your wife this, you should, but you just pick it up while you are growing up. Mm -hmm. And then you just got conditioned that way and you start reacting that way. Mm -hmm. It is not right. A lot of things are wrong with the way we were brought up that we need to talk about. And this is one of it. Mm -hmm. You, Why should you be the one taking from something? Or even wanting to give back. How do you show somebody that you care for them? How do you show somebody that you love them if you cannot give to them? Hmm. It should be both ways. And when it comes to love, I normally say it should be 100%. You are giving a 100, I am giving a 100. It's not 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have, especially when you have, how do you show you love someone when you cannot give to them? Mm. So if, if it's both uh, parties, both sexes that are involved in this, the men even want to give, make them feel cool. I mean, rub their ego when they give. Yeah. And the woman also want to take that, oh, you have to give to me. It shouldn't be. And I think real women should start understanding how to take care of their men. Okay. I mean, we look at this Valentine's Day thing. The people will feel, say, of course, for the truth, that you don't already talk and give. So something needs to come in a box. In a box. Or in a nylon. You know, with a chocolate. you or something like that. Like this. Um, times are tough. COVID nineteen <laughs> don't shave middle of person head. Come out this period. People are count pandemic day inside. You know, so to show affection this period, it must come in form of a gift. I think we could talk non material gifting this um, Valentine period mm. because person are in day compliance with the season. <laughs> how <laughs> so? How if you do? Um... Okay, so. The beautiful things of life hmm, hmm. are not necessarily bought with money. Hmm. The way we, it's still part of our money, the way we see money in this part of the world. And it's going to be tough to reset our brain. Hmm. Because we already, like, we are conditioned to damnation in a lot of ways. So, there are a lot of things. So, if you are touching, the affection that somebody feels for you to money, something is wrong with you. Mm. Especially when you know, it's so obvious that the person does not have the money. It's not like the person doesn't want to do, but you know that he doesn't or she doesn't have the money. Mm. Why don't you celebrate what you share? You see, because we concentrate so much on material things, a lot of people you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a couples counselor, you know, mm. and I see a lot of couples. And I tell you, one of the major problems in relationship or marriage these days is the fact that people outgrow their law, the, the bond. I call it the bond. I find most of the time, my clients just give it a name. Give that thing that you shared, that thing that you saw at, at the beginning that made you to say, you know what, out of a million and one person I want to be with this person, yeah. there is something. Bond, the love, the whatever you want to call, it, give it a name. Call it Gobe, call it whatever. That thing, you you most of the time you stop nurturing it. Mm. You get distracted every other thing. Mm. In this time of Valentine, the real thing that you should nurture is that bond. Mm. And nurturing that bond, going to the beach, buy gifts, they are good, but they are just a part. The bond that you share, how do you sit down and communicate? There are a lot of exercises that you could do together, bonding exercises, a lot of things you could do in your home. There is something I use for clients I call emotional bonding exercise. You could do that. There are some uh, 
love cards that you could use to play together, you know, play uh, hide and seek. Mm -hmm. There are cards that you can buy, very cheap, that you can play hide and seek together at home. You can sit together, talk about your relationship. You can light a candle. You can have emotional bonding exercise. You can walk to the beach and talk together. You can make love like your life depends on it. So there are a lot of things you could do. That you can watch movies together. You can sit in front of your TV or you. you so you really do not have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Concentrate on nurturing. Because for a lot of people, they even go resort they go to all these places yeah they are not even not touring the bond they are just doing that because somebody is doing it so i think what people should understand is concentrate on nurturing that bond all right hmm. then well thank you very much dr tolu uh, mohoigare she's a, um, a couple and sex therapist thank you so much for this information you don't share for this Valentine season. Who are they here? I'm not saying this last question we'll say she just answer now. Mm. Stingy Men Association, they don't join the WhatsApp group. Mm. Stingy Women <laughs> Association to join the WhatsApp group. Yeah, so I think yeah. I'm telling you, things it's don't the have bonds, to they're not the we're material. Not spending our money. Uh, so man uh, will say bad as it bad. I help her mop the parlor. Hey. On that very, not try them. Uh, <laughs> people will say, well, don't begin buying washing machine. Buy new mopping stick. Say, because I'm showing love. This is not, this is not her destiny in this life. <laughs> Dr. Tolu, thank you very thank much you, for joining Dr. us this Tolu. morning. Thank for you very much. Contribution, have a fantastic day and uh, a fantastic Valentine's Day celebration yes, on sir. Sunday. Yes, sir. those of us who are close to the Lord God, uh, we, we don't do, we'll we don't do Valentine's. Eh? We'll be in the same church. Not triumph. We'll be in the same church. No doubt. No, you can't even. You know, people, the way you know, you know, you know, you know, recognize me on Sunday. I recognize it. I they tie double scarf to close my ears. <laughs> Look at this. My mask they reach my you eye. See, you you know, so that we see, hear no evil Don't and talk. I hear you. <laughs> I we'll take one small break. When we come back with the end of the matter, we go still consign us. Uh, based on the coming closer, you have to be sure that you are catch ah, out properly. That's so true. come closer uh, this season. So right? I don't take our breath away, away. <laughs> when you release your breath. <laughs>